Hello everyone, these 10 questions numbered 41 to 50 will test your general knowledge about the common and scientific names of some commercially important aquatic invertebrates. 41. This species is commonly called black lip pearl oyster. A. Pintada maxima B. Pintada margaritifera C. Pintada imbricata and D. Pteria penguin. Can you guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Pintada maxima B. Pintada margaritifera C. Pintada imbricata and D. Pteria penguin. Can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. This species is widely cultured in the production of mabe or half pearls. If your answer is B or Pintada margaritifera, you're correct. Pintada margaritifera is also called black lip pearl oyster. Number 42. This species is commonly called gold lip pearl oyster. A. Pintada maxima B. Pintada rajeta C. Pintada imbricata and D. Pteria penguin Can you guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Pintada maxima B. Pintada rajeta C. Pintada imbricata and D. Pteria penguin can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. This species is widely cultured in the Philippines for the production of golden South Sea pearls. If your answer is A or Pintada maxima, you're correct. Pintada maxima is commonly called gold lip pearl oyster. 43. This species is commonly called Windowpane oyster A. Picten maximus B. Placuna placenta C. Placuna ephipium and D. Anaclamis reatula Can you guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Picten maximus B. Placuna placenta C. Placona ephipium and D. Anaclamis triatula. Can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. This species has been used for centuries as substitute for glass, especially in making windows. If your answer is B or Placona placenta, you're correct. Placona placenta is commonly called windowpane oyster. Number 44. This species is commonly called blood or red spotted swimming crab. A. Portonus sanguinolentus. B. Charybdis feriata. C. Charybdis natator. And D. Portonus pelagicus. Can you guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Portonus sanguinolentus. B. Charybdis feriata C. Charybdis natator and D. Portonus pelagicus Can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. The posterior half of the carapace is marked by three large conspicuous red spots fringed with white circles. If your answer is A or Portonus sanguinolentus, you're correct. Portunus sanguinolentus is also called blood or red spotted swimming crab. Number 45. This species is commonly called noble scallop. A. Dicatopectin amiculum. B. Labiclamis squamosa. C. Mimaclamis crassicostata. And D. Amusium pleuronectis. Can you guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Dicatopectin amiculum 
B. Lady Clamis Quamosa C. Mima Clamis Crasicostata and D. Amusium Pleuronectes Can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. This species is highly variable in colorations. If your answer is C or Mimaclamis crassicostata, you're correct. Mimaclamis crassicostata is commonly called noble scallop. Number 46. This species is commonly called Manila angel wing. A. Barnea manilensis. B. Barnea delatata. C. Anomalodiscus quamosus. And D. Folas orientalis. Can you now guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Barnea manilensis. B. Barnea delatata. C. Anomalodiscus quamosus. And D. Folas orientalis. Can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. This species is locally called Bika Bika or Diwal. If your answer is A or Barnea manilensis, you're correct. Barnea manilensis is commonly called Manila angel wing. Number 47. This species is commonly called telescope snail. A. Rhinoclavis vertagus. B. Terebralia palostris. C. Terebralia sulcata. And D. Telescopium telescopium. Can you now guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Rhinoclavis vertagus. C. Terebralia palostris. C. Terebralia sulcata. And D. Telescopium telescopium. Can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. This species is considered noisance in milkfish ponds. If your answer is D or Telescopium Telescopium, you're correct. Telescopium Telescopium is commonly called Telescope Snail. Number 48. This species is commonly called Giant Green Turban. A. Torbo Bruneus B. Torbo Rivi C. Torbo Marmoratus and D. Torbo Chrysostomus Can you guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Torbo Bruneus B. Torbo Rivi C. Torbo Marmoratus and D. Torbo Chrysostomus can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. This species could reach up to 18 cm in shell length. The knocker is very thick and this is commercially fished as a source of mother of pearl. If your answer is C or Torbo marmoratus, you're correct. Torbo marmoratus is commonly called giant green turban. Number 49. This species is commonly called Gold Ringer Cowry. A. Monetaria moneta. B. Cypraea tigris. C. Monetaria annulus. And D. Liporicypraea mapa. Can you guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Monetaria moneta. B. Cypraea tigris. C. Monetaria annulus and D. Liporicypria mapa. Can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. This species is small about 2.5 cm in shell length and are heavily exploited for its shell used as raw materials for the shell craft industry. If your answer is C or Monetaria annulus, you're correct. Monetaria annulus is commonly called gold ringer cowrie. Number 50 or the last number. This species is commonly called golden cowrie. A. Calistocypria aurantium. B. Mauritia arabica. C. Aristoredes argos. And D. 
Mauritia Mauritiana. Can you guess the species? If not, here are the pictures. A. Callisto Cypria aurantium. B. Mauritia Arabica. C. Arestorides argos. And D. Mauritia Mauritiana. Can you now guess the species? If not, here's another hint. The shell of this species is brilliant orange in color, and this is highly valued for its rarity and beautiful shell. If your answer is A or Callistocypria aurantium, you're correct. Callistocypria aurantium is commonly called golden cowrie. That's all for now, and thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please write this down on the comment section below. And if you like the contents, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this to your networks. See you soon!